Welcome everybody to my channel and a warm welcome if you're new here. I'm so excited. Oh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Habits, you know. Welcome to the premiere of The Sahari Show. In case you're wondering where the newest episode of The Sims Amazing Race is, I basically wanted to take some time on the next few episodes and not rush myself too much. You can read more on my community post that I made last Sunday. Now on to this show. The Sahari Show is hosted by Sahari and myself on this channel to get some behind the scenes juice on my reality shows, show you potential deleted scenes, as well as answer your many questions about my videos. Also, credits of this series fully goes to Fat Sheep in my Discord server for the amazing idea of making Sahari a talk show host. Thank ya! Olivar, the moon is arrow. Our Sahari. Now let's introduce ourselves since this is our first episode, okay? Sahari. Chokubi, Shabashu, Kanui, Ganashuna, Tharbenif, Sigluna, Piyun. And I'm KWire, the owner of this channel. I don't think there's anything else to add in that regard. Well, uh, let's get it into it and talk about the first two legs of The Sims Amazing Race. And in case you need one, this whole episode is a spoiler minefield. So beware definitely if you haven't watched those episodes. Leg 1 has to be exciting and eye-catching, so I picked the place with the most new and fresh tasks, but not without a chance of things going wrong. Brightchester was perfect, cause Discover University came with like a lot of fun activities that I haven't used at or love using. Now keg drinking is one of my favorite tasks ever. <laughs> the animations was just too funny. <laughs> yeah, sure. First wrong thing, I guess, came up during testing. The original roadblock was supposed to be winning a debate against students of Brightchester, including alumni races Julia and Becca. But I realized a debate takes 2 hours sim time regardless, and I can't find a mod to speed those up, like, unlike fishing or riding. So I had to remove that task. The lady who I mentioned during the video suggested I do something related to Christmas, cause my episode will premiere like right before Christmas, and I was already like inspired by her Christmas tree challenge, so I went with that. I think it was the perfect challenge, honestly, to ease racers into like an intense race ahead. Ah, uh, now for the deleted scenes, y'all's favorite parts. I'll start from the beginning. There's actually a cute scene where people are dancing together at a stereo at the Maishuno Meadows house. Look at Mackenzie's very sensual dancing. <laughs> Queen behavior. Of course, I prefer talking interactions, so I kinda deleted the stereo shortly after. Also, while the Christmas tree roadblock is going on, Ernest actually went to study a painting but used a camera! How scandalous! Of course I couldn't include that cause, you know, technophobe and everything. <laughs> Speaking of Ernest, the first go around I filmed I actually forgot to implement the detour switch mechanics, so here's clips of Taylor and Carmen and Ernest and Wendy going until like 7pm with like no signs of like stopping. <laughs> they really sucked at the detour, so even in hindsight, switching was a good idea. Harvini. Oh my god, yes! Of course, I love the sisters. Everybody, welcome to our iconic first boots of The Sims Amazing Race 2, Taylor and Carmen Butler. Taylor and Carmen, obviously you won hearts of our viewers and many were very upset that you were the first team eliminated. Before we get to the details of the race, let's talk about you. What have you been up to since The Sims Amazing Race? That is awesome. I'm sure the people appreciate the life update. Now on to the burning question on everyone's minds. How far were you actually behind Ernest and Wendy? <laughs> And I guess I'll answer that question on their behalf. <laughs> Taylor and Carmen were actually only 14 minutes behind Ernest and Wendy, so it was very, very close. Plus, the sisters made up a ton of time during the robotics roadblock since they finished the soccer detour like an hour after Ernest and Wendy, so props to them. Barbenev, <laughs> 
Boulevard. Zoa Wushi, Sharp, Specia. Uh, Snow Zogarzo, Sharp Janil, Splurb, Zarp Glyph, Abin. Oh, we love some sibling love. Well, it does suck that you lot were eliminated first. Had you made it to the second lick? Carmen, especially you, you would have slayed those challenges. Dog training, treat making, and parenting? You may have even shot from like worst to first. <laughs> so, last question before you leave. Are there any teams that you're rooting for on this race? Well, it's been very lovely talking to you ladies, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you for racing with us! Before we move on to the discussion of the next episode, let's welcome our special guest for this evening! The one, the only, Rosa Herrera! Telvajero Umbra? Wago Fruge! Warba Quest? Chonkabi! Shindimus! Warm up, Boma, Ulak Zerf, Zambas. Um, hey, I'm here too. <laughs> Kidding. Now, Rosa, kindly enlighten us and all your fans out there. What have you been up to since the race or the challenge, even? Oh, can a game? Oh, move. Apolichaba, Zobi Zabao, Apolichaba, Wabarani Bayumi, Cebu on a mop, Jeff and Athi Banahu, the Narpelka. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting! We're so happy to see you thriving, Rosa. Now for the question that the fans are dying to know. You had a budding romance with Elliot on the challenge, which ended up in quite the scandal since we saw you last with Lee. <gasps> Care to elaborate what you were thinking that time? Or whether you and Elliot become an item in the end? Naya flu. Bobe Saguinario. Freeba. Naya flu. Torquey. Well, I bet you've been watching this season of The Sims Amazing Race as an active Amazing Race alumni. What do you think of this season so far? Any favorite teams? Apolichaba? Zobie's about Apolichaba. Who can a game? <laughs> Omu. Wixona Zarspa. Pemsip Fabrice. Suavi. Usana Zarspa. Wixani. Well, it's been a joy talking to you, Rosa, and I wish you and your band all the best in that upcoming album. Save us a copy when you release it, please. And for you, the viewer, if there's any past contestant you would like to see on the show, feel free to let us know down in the comments. We can totally call and see if they're free to chat. Uh, now let's move on to the next segment. Oh, as much as I love this leg, there are a couple things that I forgot, and so many things actually went wrong. <laughs> it's not my best work, but I'd say the main themes were like a risk versus reward theme, as well as like a relying on things out of your control theme. The risk and reward aspect started off with like the flights, which clearly showed when Faiza and Rizal missed their flight. And the second aspect of this comes the detour. Do teams want to try their luck on a kite detour that can be done in one go or in 10 tries, or pick the treats detour, which takes a long time, but you know you can get it done without fail. Uh, so yeah, clearly I underestimated some of the team's physical abilities since a lot of them got it on their first try. <laughs> I'm like slightly bummed that I made an uneven detour by accident. And well, I feel bad for animals on this real amazing race, but at the same time, I love when teams have to deal with something that's completely out of their control. Like the My Ox is Broken clip from The Amazing Race 5, which inspired the title of this episode. 
Mwah, one of my favorite scenes ever. <laughs> and I basically wanted to recreate that in The Sims 4. <laughs> also, no dogs were harmed in the making of this episode, by the way. They were very well fed and returned to their owners happily. <laughs> Not as much as the last one, but there is a little rivalry between Faisal and Santiago because Faisal has like the competitive trait and called Santiago a big loser sometime in the Barchester library. <laughs> there was enough fighting in this video without me putting that in, so I left it out. But in case you wonder why those two are go at, go at it the next episodes, well now you know. <laughs> Also not as exciting, but Mason formed a lot of friendships this one morning. These brothers came prepared. Or maybe the racist just won his express pass. Either one. So, Ernest and Wendy, you two brought a ton of drama and you had tons of fans despite your very early exit from the race. I know I personally missed you, like, a lot when you left. <laughs> anyway, you're clearly still in this century, so I assume you haven't found a way back to your time. Are there still plans to do that? Oh, the wonders this show has done in reconnecting Lost Family. Wendy, how about you? What are your plans? Snubara Watanini. Lumina Xine. So bow down him. Yada back. Lobo Canfly. Moochie Peach. Ruby. Dumb say Bruhana. Kanumi. Merkel Zero. Ganashuna. Thar Penip. <laughs> oh, you're certainly picking up a lot of interesting language from your acting gigs there, Wendy. <laughs> Glad you're integrating fine in this century, though. Oh my goodness, are you two still married then? How's that gonna work? Well, that's probably enough privacy invasion for one interview. Let's talk about the race now. You two barely survived elimination in leg 1, and in leg 2 you were so close to surviving elimination again, but oh, you just barely, barely got eliminated. What was going through your mind at the time? Whoopsie, didn't mean for the firecrackers to go off in here. <laughs> Let's try something else. Were there any positive moments that you had on the race? And that concludes our segment. Give another applause for Ernest and Wendy, everybody. I hope you two succeed in whatever you do, in whatever time period you end up in. Thank you for participating on the race. It's been a joy having you. It's not a talk show if we don't answer fan questions. Two days after each episode, I posted on the community tab seeking questions from the fans. And boy, did we get a lot. We can't promise we'll get to each one by this episode, but rest assured we'll answer them all eventually. So, in the real Amazing Race, contestants are kind of secluded into their own hotel rooms with no communication with each other, so I kind of want to enforce the same thing. Racers get about 8 to 12 hours of rest before they depart again, and I kind of just make them like sit like idiots in the house <laughs> and like cheat up their needs to full using the mailbox. The last team finishes kind of like hours after the first team anyway, so it doesn't take too long before the first team starts the next leg. Like, in League 2, Malik and Mason departed like only 40 minutes after Taylor and Carmen finished the previous leg. <laughs> Now for the next question. Ganapati Kamesh asked if you could have any two contestants from previous shows on your channel to team up as racers for an amazing race, who would you choose and why? 
Oh, this is a very tough question to answer, but I'll go with the rather popular opinion that Naoki and Rusty from Sims and Brother would be a delight to have on the race, because they're both erratic and they have a varied skill set, so there's no telling what they could do. <laughs> Plus, they're arguably the fan favorites of the season. Honorable mentions, though, go to Zack from Survivor Battle of Belomisia and his brother Damien, because that's also a chaotic bickering duo that I can see being funny as hell on the race. <laughs> And next on, oh my god, Sahari, you have a question. Random Crew Fan 3698 asked, Who did Sahari fear the most in the Big Brother house? Tork Fushoshi? Kanumi? Merkle Zero? Gaba Gaba Pomeray Quas? Confuibo? And on to the next, Uncle TXI wonders, What is your favorite team on Amazing Grace 2? Oh, for myself, preseason, it has to be Samira and Octavius, because I think they have one of the most unique relationships I've ever seen. They haven't blown me away on the actual race yet, so I'll give mine to Mackenzie and Oliver. <laughs> they are a hot mess, and their confessionals are so fun to write personally, so I just really enjoy them. <laughs> Sorry, wait, what about you? Do you have a favorite this season? Warba <laughs> Quest? Jero Umbra? <laughs> Sensibi Kinniku. Swarspa Kithara. Santiago and Avanda seem to be a fan favorite among alumni contestants. <laughs> Moving on, let's see. Ah, Marlon Tyler 8907 asked to talk about who's most likely to win and who do you think will be out next. This is a really hard question to answer because of the sheer luck and randomness of the race, but my winner pick right now is actually also Santiago and Evander as of right now, post lick 2 at least. I think they're tough and they will probably emerge as an underdog win that nobody sees coming. But like I said, it could still be anyone. Mm, oh my god, this next one's for you too, Sahari. Lucy Hanna asks you what did you enjoy more, Big Brother or The Challenge? And have you kept in touch with anyone from either show? Oh, I hope you get to reunite with them soon. Alright, we have time for one more question. Sorry folks, we'll answer more in the next installment, okay? Oh, this is a loaded one. Ganapati Kamesh asks again, when looking for potential candidates for this season of The Amazing Race, what kind of things are you looking for? Do you have a method or is it more of a gut feeling and randomness to how contestants get chosen? Oh, it's definitely not random. In every show, not just The Sims Amazing Race actually, I strive for diversity in a huge variety of things, including race and ethnicity, sexual orientation, body sizes, and unique relationships and backstories. Obviously, I always have room for improvement on these things, but I try my best to make sure every cast member stands out in their own way. I try to have an equal number of male and female contestants, a good mix of friends, family, and romantic relationships, and even feature characters from good to evil and lawful to chaotic. I did as use like this whole chart to make sure I have enough like different characters on a season. If you're wanting my advice on making casts for future seasons, just make them wacky, different, and fun. And if you have more questions for us or future eliminated contestants to answer, feel free to pop them down below. Obviously, this is the first episode and I'm not very like talk show savvy myself, so definitely recommend me ways to spice it up or maybe make it more interesting if you have any comments. If you enjoyed this video format, please like the video and comment down below all your thoughts and if I should do more videos like this. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great week ahead. The Sims Amazing Race 2 will return next week. Bye for now.